obviously winning it would be ideal, but maybe just using some of these ultimates and just stall out, right? Oh, hey, that's not oh. good! He got one clipped! Happy just shakes his hand out. <laughs> oh dear. No chance to respond to that. No chance to translocate away. That is just massive. Birdwing still hasn't built an EMP yet this round. He might get one for the last five, and it might be too late by then. Lee Jagon is in deep trouble. They're ignoring the guy. He gets healed up for a time, at least by Izayaki, but Fearless is putting the pressure on now. DK is able to win the 1v1 elsewhere, though. Drops to the point. Starts to tear strips off of that brick shield here. But elsewhere, Smurf has fallen. DK is going to be called on again, maybe to do some real heavy lifting here. But he gets stunned up by Violet in Rally. The EMP, it is late. But not too late. Enough to at least give the Uprising a foothold in this fight. Birdry got Nano. Rally now has to come out here on a great Bionic Grenade connection from Izayaki. So the point will flip as 99 for the Outlaws here. Uh, and I feel like if you're the Outlaws, you're still in a pretty strong spot, right? That's kind of what you were going for. Now, uh, get to 99, force some ultimates out of the other side, and you really got the big ones out. You, you, Nano, your Rally, and your EMP. You think at this point, right, Pelican can farm up this EMP rather quickly, and maybe you just come back with that and win. Time is on your side for Houston. Look at that! Shoe staying alive there. Nicely done by Violet to keep the topped up. Still a lot of action here, though. Smurf with the Primal Rage looking to juggle Shoe in the corner, but can't quite get to grips with him here. He's going to be forced to return empty-handed to the point now. Izayaki oh. was hacked briefly, but Pelican's getting out. He's building the EMP, though. Oh, and, and Smurf gets with a Biotic grenade. He gets really low. They're able to deal with Shu, but the Nano gets off on a Fearless. Yeah, Fearless Nano looking to build again to another Primal, but may not need it here. Smurf out of the picture is a sorry sign for the Boston Uprising. And the K again is going to have to do it. Birdring almost hacked. He had to translocate away from the point there. And he and the K will link up for one more fight. Oh, they know exactly where he is. They caught him. He had to get out. Here comes the Doom Fist Smurf, hacked instantly. Not a fun situation for the Doom, and Birdring is taken down again. Happy is far from done. Dude, how many times have we seen? Is uh, nobody going to be able to touch there for the Uprising? From he, he, you know, he doesn't want to have to worry about Ana and the enemy Hanzo. Feels very hard for him to win out there. Maybe to try and disrupt Fearless a little bit more. He's forced the Nano here for Lee Jae Gon. He's, he's going to get out of dodge. Thanks yeah. for that. I mean, they trade Nanos, right? So Shu actually Nanos Fearless in that situation as well. I think he, I think Lee Jae Gon wants to fight. <laughs> uh, that's not going to happen. Smurf also won't get to touch grass or touch down there. And it's going to be happy. Lee Jae Gon trying to come off that high ground. And what a stick! <laughs> oh my goodness. Twilight dropped down. Fortunately, no teammates were affected by the blast. The Boston are getting slowed right down here. And yeah, look at this, Fearless actually chasing. Knows that Bird Ring kind of went in that direction. Maybe just trying to find a translocator, pick him off. So he knows that everybody else for the Uprising is going to be coming off a spawn. So, which was, you know, we're, we're, they've dwindled off about three minutes off the clock at this point. You know, if you're the Uprising, this next EMP that comes available has to be good. Uh, you, know, you, may get, you may get it with like a minute to go. And in that time, if you if you don't get something with it, you're in trouble. Right, talk about forcing a fight with Dragon Strike. Happy yeah, really was... hoping to catch the uprising. It doesn't work. So now the outlaws need to regroup and maybe play card. Pelicans had a really quiet half man. Only two final blows. I think the verticality oh, is causing down. some problems. Yeah. yeah. The pulse bomb was key. And that's been about it for him so far. Off he go. Look at how split the supports are though. The it's... EMP timing, not bad, but. Uh, look, the Uprising were already forced back, right? Their whole back line, they have no line of sight to the Divers at all there. Yes, I mean, that that's a key ultimate here, right? With about a minute to go that you're not going to have. You don't even really get high ground for it. Happy, does he see Twilight? Yes. Drops back down here. Probably won't see the high ground if he can. Smurf might get a nano here as Decay finding Pelican. De De Decay is really heated up here in the second half. We talked about how good Pelican was in the first one, but Decay has won that battle here in the second half. Oh, all right. And that is very defensive from Violet. Pops around in the keep shield life, backs up with him behind the shield. And hey, he's not pretty, but it bloody works. The Outlaw's still playing with five for now. Shoe, look at that health bar go up and down. Violet desperately trying to keep him in the fight, but Fearless is having to reciprocate. Both Hunters out of the picture now, we're down to eight seconds in the round. Pelican Jockey back to the car, but Fearless can't get away. It's Happy chiming in with a miracle kill on the Tracer, but it's going to take more than that to get this job done. 
He wants to go back up, but who's going to contest the card so far? It's just Pelican. He's forced to recall there, but he's healthy. Smurf's seen better days. There's a Dragon Strike to clear them off the card. Nano Can they Violet. touch? They can't Smurf! The Winston can't get there! The Boston Uprising forced away! And the Outlaws take a second map! And that is a rough one for Boston to lose because they played nasty stuff. Violet leaps into the fray. Is he going to get caught out too? They have lost shoot. Is a, they, they tried to make a double back up those staircase. Oh. And Violet actually just whip shotted somebody back towards Fearless, then gets a whip shot close here on the Decay as he pops the rally to keep the payload where it is. Violet's done it all as a support play. He's done it all. Now on the brig, giving a great account of himself. Superstar player here. Houston have him in every role and it shows. Fearless is primal. Okay, defensive EMP, Pelican makes uh, sure he yeah. doesn't fall there at the very least. So that's maybe to be expected at this uh, point. I like that though from Boston. You need you needed to get the cart moving. You're running out of time. True has sleep, but he wants to make sure there's no bubble in play, so he just backs away instead. Happy returns to safety. The fact that Happy and Pel uh, and Shu get away there is pretty big. It's not for long though. It's uh Boston trying to control high ground here to kind of like prevent them from flooding it onto the cart. But it looks like Fearless. Fearless gets out, yeah, but he's got Primal once he gets up. Izzy Ark still gets taken down, though. Happy is able to follow up here. The defensive dive is beautiful. Boston Uprising now looking for a pulse. It's Decay and Smurf taking down Pelican with that Primal Rage. He chased that one inside. The Burdering is down. Smurf's in trouble here. He's got a bubble up, but there's someone behind him as well. Take it down from both sides, and now Decay has to try and keep this alive. Shield back from Violet pulls up short, but the dive is on. Decay's got a recall. They know he's going to head back to the card. He thought for a moment just to sneak it, but it's not to be. Two meters left, and the Uprising have one more chance to get this done. Yeah, Smurf is going to go Doom so he can get back and get a touch here. But they're going to walk right into an EMP. Double bio, good connection from Izzy well, under all this pressure. Here. But Fearless is going to take him right to the spawn. Izyaki's out of the fight here, so what do the Outlaws do about it? Well, it's going to be a rally on the point in the EMP, forcing Smurf back. The Bionade was a problem for him already. Rally for Lee Jae gone to try and keep the dream alive here. But Violet's got one of his own, charging forward with the shield. A Bionade for two is beautiful for Shu. And that's going to force the Uprising away. They'll come back, but Smurf is low. Nano deployed to Violet. Now the Raid boss starts to stretch his legs a little bit more. Decay knocked back with shots on point for Violet. He'll finish the job on Lee Jae gone. And the fatality on the Boston Uprising. A swift and decisive 3-0. The Houston Outlaws oh, advance. Man. As uh, the Outlaws look so clean.